sign this copy right from my Why did you lose a message? Well, I'm from Mexico. Jean from Australia. Excellent, from Quebec. I'm from Bangladesh. A hostel is basically simple accommodations, really designed to bring people together. I like this place. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> in the Boston Hostel, you're going to be in a dorm room that'll have somewhere between four and six beds. Just so many people from other countries. Show from England. From Amsterdam. It's a, a kind of unique way of traveling in the world. Uh, yeah, we're rowing uh, Saturday ahead of Charles. I've been to the one in Chicago and Washington D.C. and a bunch of other places. So I like to travel. The simple accommodations are actually by design intended to get people to interact. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. There's loads of free communal activities, so it's easy to meet people. The whole point of hosteling isn't a cheap sleep. It's to get people from different cultures and ethnic backgrounds together so that they can get to know each other. So far, so good. <laughs> well, what's really unique about Boston is the activities that are, are organized to take guests out into the city. We have a great treat for you. Um, the Freedom Trail is the most popular tourist attraction in Boston. So we're going to take the T over. That's our, that's our underground or our subway. Well, people come to Boston largely because of its history. So one of the things that we do is organize Freedom Trail trips for our guests. Boston is founded in 1630 by John Winthrop and the Puritans. The idea is to give hostile guests a positive view of Boston. You're standing on Boston Common. This is the oldest public park in America. It dates back it's to the greatest commercial Boston could ever ask for. You know, when you market Boston to the world, you need to do it at many different levels. And you know when you do it to young people, they're going to come back based on their positive experience. And one thing Boston needs to do more of is market itself. You know, we can't rest on our laurels. Uh, this gentleman right here, this is Sam Adams. He is our grand incendiary, our fiery patriot, and he is our original radical. You'd have the old state house here, you would have the Murray Barracks, the British Barracks right nearby, and you would add pork. First hosteling experience, and it's fantastic. Very welcoming, uh, took us out bowling the first night, met a lot of people. Hey guys, welcome to the hostel. My name is Ralph, this is the volunteer Lauren. Uh, tonight we're going out to the Museum of Fine Arts after the MFA. We organize everything from pub crawls to walking tours on Friday night to Harvard tours on Saturday, Museum of Fine Arts tours. Another favorite among international travelers is Fenway Park. We organize several trips to games because it's what our international travelers want to do. Well, they always come back and say, oh, Harvard was real cool, the Freedom Trail was great, blah, blah, blah. But the thing that you hear more than anything is the city itself is the star. Not any one of its attractions, it's the city. Most people don't realize that we also have a few programs that give back to the city. During spring break, we organize for college students to come stay at the hostel and learn about Boston from a different angle. We do some brand of volunteerism where we take college teams or visiting youth groups and we line up community service projects. Young adults, college students, high school students are really wanting to give back. So it gives them an opportunity to do that. Yeah, you put one in the corner here, one in the corner here. We went to Pine Street Inn, Father Bill's Paulus Center, Boston Rescue Mission. We'll be going to community servings. In terms of just coming to the city and enjoying themselves, of course they do that, but at the same time, they're giving back to the city of Boston. How many more we got, what'd you say? Uh, uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. There we go. All right. Awesome. <laughs> the hostel serves the community in other ways. In a unique after-school program called Cultural Kitchens, 
Boston area youth are learning about different cultures through cooking together. We're gonna take a little bit of rice and spread it. We want it spread evenly. We don't want it like this. Robert, you wanna try? Yeah, come over here. Okay. Through cooking and sharing food, it's a great way to learn about different cultures and, and gain that respect for one another. So they're right in between those two fingers. So the two fingers. Hey, sushi, on three. One, two, three, sushi! We would love to be able to bring more of that program into the hostel so that the kids not only have that uh, cooking and learning experience, but they get to see the international travelers. And we need a larger facility with more meeting space to do that. The Boston Hostel is an old tired building that houses 205 people a night. It's old. It's, it's old, it's falling apart. It needs a lot of work. It's not 100% handicapped accessible. It doesn't have an elevator. It doesn't have central air conditioning. It's got rooms that should be bigger. It doesn't have enough common space. We're hoping to have a much larger building with a lot more common area that will allow people really to get to meet each other. We need a new building because we can't accommodate the demand. We are full all the time. Youth travel is slated to just grow exponentially over the next decade or two. Without a new hostel in Boston, we can't begin to meet that demand. A new hostel would help us in so many different ways in terms of bringing even more people to Boston and spreading the word about what a great destination it is. You know, there's been a tremendous amount of development in the city of Boston, and we've kind of left the hostel behind. The hostel needs to catch up and needs a facility of its own that is matched by the educational and hospitals and cultural institutions of this city. We need a hostel that is there for the guests and creates that wonderful first impression of the city of Boston. Really want to showcase the city in the best light possible. I'm a firm believer in those first impressions and I think one of those will be our hostel. We really need a new building and, and more than just my organization needing a new building, the city of Boston needs a new youth hostel.